Hey guys, so we're back with another class match. And so far, I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with the results that I've gotten. Um, it hasn't been all wins, obviously, but in terms of the way the units are performing, I think, I feel like I'm doing pretty well. I'm at about 50-50, I think. Maybe one more win, I, but I think it was 50-50, which is actually good considering the point system, you're actually still advancing. Um, so yeah, in terms of actually winning or, or losing, I think it's fine. But in terms of the unit performance, I am very happy to see what Revelka has been doing. Revelka is actually insanely strong. She has a really good attack. I, I saw her using it a lot, but I didn't realize how good it actually was. I actually had her on white mage, but it didn't seem like she was doing any white mage stuff here. And then I actually switched her to Kotodama Wielder because I was like, oh, I actually need guaranteed hit. And it, you know, I knew that she had unavailable pain here, but in her main job, she actually has guaranteed hit. So this attack is actually insane. It's medium damage. It's AOE. It's got four charges, 34 AP. Uh, deals damage to targets within range based on characters, magic stat and guaranteed hit and lowers missile and magic resistance for three turn missile and magic resistance so whatever she hits if she doesn't instantly kill them Terra's gonna come in and finish that job or she's gonna be able to finish the job next turn so that is actually an insanely good attack it's medium and it's aoe so it's a cross formation that's actually really good really really good so I'm pretty happy with how she's been performing. She's got this, which is five turns, which is more than the usual for Energist. Uh, she got magic dex and raises agility and missile attack resistance. So that's actually really good. I feel like she's performing like these latest MR units, even though they're MR, I feel like they're almost at least selection quest level, like a UR selection quest level the only difference being i mean one of the only differences being that they're not going to eventually get a weapon custom for them so obviously they don't have a limit burst and maybe there's going to be a different stat comparison obviously but i think these units are actually doing pretty well like they're definitely mr plus plus um terra is just terra and then the only thing rain is sort of like okay but I feel like Rain doesn't have anything special or specialized about him. So I kind of also made a different version of this with Delita. And I should probably actually, let me see if I could put him on to Golem. No, I don't have Golem for him. So that's something I need to work on in the future is just different Esper Resonance for Delita so he could be more of a defensive fighter. But in terms of Rain, I feel like he, he's he's been updated a lot, which has made him a lot stronger. But I feel like he doesn't have like that kind of staying power that like Terra, Terra and Delita actually have a little bit more staying power, if you ask me. Um, so I'm actually preferring Delita a little bit more, at least comp looking at his performance in the last guild battle. Um, I do want to experiment with Raldor, but I'm still around 200 Mind Spheres off from finishing him. So I'm not going to be able to use him quite yet. But I think in terms of this, the only thing, the only thing bad about the Lita is that he doesn't have like good hate generation. Uh, I have to rely on is Taunting Blade on Paladin, which I definitely will have him on Paladin for the Courage. Um, but instead I'll be just using Vow of Love as the initial hate at least. So I'm bringing it old school a little bit with the Lita. He's actually got a ton of defense on him with, I gave him Leonis Castle and he's got the Mage's Habit to stack defense on. So I would probably want a way to add some more spirit. So that would be with the, I think that's Freeze S. Esper would be good for spirit or to just use Golem for defense and then use either an armor or a VC. I guess this does give some spirit too. Um, where's the actual stat? Oh, crap. Sorry about that. So actually, let's look in here. Defense and spirit. Okay, bestowed effect. So 
yeah, that's pretty decent, actually. Pretty decent. So he's more defensively focused, but he still does have some spirit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run Delita and see if he performs a little bit better. I am liking this Revelka and... Um, uh, I was about to call her Celeste. Terra. <clears throat> Terra build. The one other change, obviously, is with Rain. I had him on the Encounter of Heroes card. So I feel like in terms of damage, we're doing an excessive amount of damage. So I want to see if I can tune it down and see if I can still one like close to one shot, but still have a little bit more survivability with this build. All right. So that's kind of what I'm doing and what I'm thinking. So let's just jump into a battle. And again, Rain and the leader are a little bit different. And if we could choose our opponent, that would be great. But I think in this case, since it's random, it's really hard to tell who would do better per battle. So we seem pretty evenly matched here in terms of attack and magic total. But we're seeing a dark team. Ooh, and the little Lila is only 115. So I don't know what to expect for this. Uh, it's Garble versus Revelka, so they're almost on par, I guess. Get ready for my super <clears throat> but then they also have physical, so maybe their physical is going to be going to have a bigger focus than the magic. So maybe Garble might not be as good. Don't think poorly of me. Feel my power. And it looks like their team is a lot faster than ours. <laughs> their whole team went before us. Actually, that's not true. The leader went already. Because the leader has Odin equipped. Alright, so I think not that bad of a first turn. And thankfully, we're not seeing a light team because out of all the fights I've had with light, I think they've just been edging me out just slightly, or, you know, they've just been winning. But light isn't even that crazy to go up against so that's good so you can see right there that defense i think she did uh, chi barrier anyway with that initial defense that she has with the hyper reactivity i gotta say for ruin stern somebody who's really attack oriented he didn't do that much damage and but he does have that mirage basically the same thing as as uh last worm Okay, so Terra still has her courage up, so that's good. And looks like Stern barely survives. And it's, this is bad because they're both grouped up enough that he can use Hazard Render. But I think they should be okay. Oh, he didn't use Hazard Render. Okay, so he should be taken out no problem. And there's the Magic Reflex. But the Meltdown is an AoE guaranteed hit. Little Lila with the recovery. So... That's kind of what I wish Rain would have a little bit more of, is some kind of recovery, since he doesn't have the courage. But it's kind of hard to use him as Red Mage when you want to use Astro Guard, so. Okay, so she had already used her courage, it looks like. I think Delita can take down Garvel. Oh, he's just out of range. But I think that's the Garvel's three turns are up. But Little Lila just used courage, so. That's not looking super good. Delita, do something nice here. Hit little Lila, I think, would probably be better. She does have the courage. Oh, not enough to trigger the courage. Ooh, that's a lot of range. But Revolta does survive that. I was kind of thinking too that since this is a magic team, maybe this might have been an opportunity to go with magic Delita. <laughs> I don't know. I still, I'm still very iffy about that, obviously. Please finish her off, Delita, and move. He's probably not going to move. Yeah, he's still within the cross formation, so not looking good. So that was a close one, but a few terrible decisions there by the AI, so didn't end up working out. Um, Terra, part of me wants to switch Terra and Revelka's TMR, because I feel like Revelka's like slightly out of the, the action, but if she was to use, um, Ibarra's TMR, I think she'd be able to get into the action a little faster, but we'll see. Let's try this one and then maybe I'll give that a shot. 
So in the uncommented videos that I created, I saw Terra. Is this a Terra versus Terra? Oh, okay. Oh no, water. I saw Terra was grouping up a little too much with rain, but I think that was because of the move, the move plus one. So maybe it would be a good thing to switch the TMR and see if they can stay separate a little bit. All right, so this is bad. Uh, Celeste is a problem, especially for Magic Fire. She is a huge problem. Uh, the best hope is that the leader can take her out. Uh, Lara Croft can be a huge problem actually against the leader uh, with her missile. If she has any kind of like uh, that armor that penetrates, that could be very bad for the leader. But well, hopefully the leader has enough defense stacked up that he can survive. But knowing, you know, having the weakness to water, definitely not good. And so protect and shell. But it looks like the lead is not going to be close enough to actually get the first hit in. But he's definitely going to get sniped over here by Laura Croft. Let's see how much that does total. Not the worst, but we really we really need to start doing damage if we're gonna get anywhere. There's Terra getting a little too close to Delita. And let's pay attention to Revelka. So yeah, actually if Revelka had that on, she would now also be close to Delita. Yeah, more is another problem, obviously. Okay, good, so he still has the courage. But more is definitely a problem in terms of doing a ton of damage. Hopefully the leader does something good here. And he misses Lara, so he didn't do much against Celeste, so this is probably gonna be a bust. So there's the courage. Just in time Terra here, but he's gonna have a problem with Celeste, I think. Oh, and the limit burst miss, misses, so for some reason I was sort of thinking of the accuracy of the of Meltdown, but obviously if she's using a different attack, she doesn't get that guaranteed hit. <laughs> There's this triple hit. Revoka just barely survives. Don't think she's going to have a turn, though. Still have Courage on Terra, so uh, there's a chance she can do something here. He's going next. She's not going to be able to do enough, to be honest. Oh, Laura Croft. Nope. All right, so that was unfortunate. You know, I was thinking like people wouldn't really be using water because they don't really have anything, any element that they're strong against because people don't really use fire. But water is still pretty good without needing to have the weakness. So that ended up not working out for us. Uh, all right, let's try, let's try switching the TMRs. Sorry, the previous ones where I did no commentary, I just didn't have, didn't think I had enough time. I actually had, ended up having a pretty decent amount of time, but I tend to not, if I see that I don't have enough time, that's the reason that I don't do any commentary. Because I tend to just completely forget about class match till the time comes. And usually with work, I'm not able to to do like two of the sessions. I can only do one of them. So if I'm not paying attention and I miss that one, I'll either come in late or I'll just completely forget. All right, so let's see, first of all, what we're up against. Let's try to look at their total points up there. Okay, so 4,900 and we have 47, 4,800. So it's about even. I might have a slight disadvantage, but it's not like a water team. So not water or ice. So it's not, shouldn't be that big of a deal. 
We do have Lightning and Cloud, which could be a problem. And we do have Charlotte, which is going to resist a lot of our magic here. So depending on how this plays out with Charlotte, we might be in a little bit of trouble here. So Revelka still does the Chi Barrier. And Terra does Immortal Spirit, so it's still going pretty well. I think Delita used his uh, bells. So that's fine. Here's Charlotte. Okay, so Kate is already on. So our best hope is that they bunch up and that we sort of don't bunch up and kind of try to flank. But is it going to happen like that? Probably not. Okay, so Delita took a hit there, but not too bad considering who hit him. Uh, if he can survive a, an, an attack from Cloud, that would be amazing. But Cloud might get a... No, he's, he's probably fine. Uh, he might go for a barrage. Oh, he actually doesn't get to attack. Okay, so that's good. We kind of need Delita to start hammering onto Charlotte. There's a defense down. Karma Blade, pretty decent, but not anywhere near the amount of damage that we would need. Considering the hate is on. Okay, so this is actually not bad. Oh, but looks like Terra couldn't get into range if she had the plus one move, maybe. Okay, so uh, that could have been better. That could have been better. So down goes the Lita. Let's see how much damage Cloud does. He is somewhat grouped up with the rest of them. So that's okay-ish. Oof, 10,000. So Courage, and here comes Lightning. Yeah, no. Charlotte's gonna finish her off. Yeah, so they're actually pretty fast. They're on the speedy side. My trust stones are not really built towards speed that much, but maybe that's something I, sh I might need to consider for future battles. Um, I think I'm more towards attack, magic, and AP more so than speed. All right, so. I don't think changing the trust stones made that much of a difference. But let me change back to I feel like Delita's uh, he's surviving. But let's let's go back to Rain and see if this makes a difference. Because now also I I wasn't doing as much damage as I maybe would have wanted to. So putting the magic up card back on him on them for everybody might be a good thing. Looks like it's an ice team, but doesn't mean that's a guaranteed win. Um, in terms of range, they have pretty good rangers. And if they if they come out with rangers, that could be a problem. So it's snow, a ranger, and a healer. So we'll see what happens. I forgot her name already. Alana. I'm just gonna call her Alana. So it's up to Alana. She's the DPS. And she's clearly the DPS in this. So we'll have to see how she does. And in terms of snow, I think probably. Well, maybe maybe magic is probably okay, but I think Raldor is probably the better counter to to snow. And I kind of am not liking her having the delightful demon on because now they're way too close together. So when I switched teams, that switched the, the TMRs back. And I was aware of that, but I was just like, you know what? It'll be fine. But it's not fine. Don't give up on me now. That's why I need to, I, I do want to start playing manual. You know, maybe I should probably try to do that just to give it a shot, not to necessarily be, you know, 
the absolute pro of manual or anything, but just to give it a shot. I do want to try to make it to Platinum League, but honestly, I don't really need. Yikes. So, didn't do that much damage, but Frostbite and then Revoca didn't get to attack. And now they're all nice and in a cross formation, so they're going to get a weed. And I'm guessing they're going to remain in an A cross formation and not really going to do that much, that great of a job of getting out of it. There's this healing. So Revoca can do a lot of damage here. Okay, there, that's good. So if we could get rid of Alana, she's going to be the, the next real problem. Uh, but if she's going to be AoEing like that, Oh, Terra actually survived. Okay. So that's actually really good. Okay. Ooh. So it's looking like that team was made for Snow to be taking the damage because the other two didn't take the damage all that well. Um, I'm surprised Snow didn't cast his heal when he's at low life ability, but he did get healed at a pretty good time. So that almost worked for him. Obviously, we had the fire advantage, so I think that's re what really made the difference, obviously. I think when it comes to ice versus fire, they can do re really well. They just really need to be set up in a way that they can start doing damage from afar. And while Velis is actually really good, I think his AI sticks to healing and buffing, I guess. So he's not necessarily a DPS. Okay, so here's a light team. So we kind of need Rain to take away the hate, especially against Jaden. If he can do that effectively, that would be ideal. However, we still have the issue of Terra grouping up with him. So there's no tank for this, but ideally it would be nice for Terra to go after Locke. Oh, and she does actually, so this might be good. She has the courage and she has guaranteed hit. The only thing we have to worry about is reflex. Uh, Rain might get Locke to go towards him, which might be an issue, but I think Terra Terra might still get him. So the re-ray is there. Hopefully Delita can dispel that. So there's the evasion up, which we shouldn't care about if we hit with Terra. Oh, so Terra doesn't get close enough quite yet. If she had used the Lightful Demon first turn, then maybe. But then she wouldn't have the courage, so... Uh. Right. Elena not close enough. Jaden probably going to hit Rain. But he's by himself and he doesn't care about attack down. Not so fast. Is that all you've got? Double evasion. Okay, so looks like Terra and Revok are going to have to put in some work here. But at least they're sort of grouping up, so maybe Revoka gets a good hit next time. Surprise Rain survived that because I even have trouble with King Mont surviving against Locke, so... Kudos to Rain on that one. Hopefully. Ah! Jaden with the freaking ridiculous hit there. We need a meltdown. And there's a courage. And the re raise is still there. Oh my god. Yeah, so Delita didn't get to do his thing. Or actually, we, don't, we didn't have Delita, so. We couldn't dispel that courage. This team is just so fast with the buff on the map. That's sad. Ah, a little disappointed today, not gonna lie. One win, four losses. A little disappointed at that. Um, I was tempted to switch to light, just to, because this benefit of the map is just, maybe it's just too good. But uh, I, I still have been wanting to use Revolka. And she's been doing pretty decently, I'm not going to lie. She got killed, yeah, but the times that she did do the damage was pretty good. There was one time where she didn't really do that much damage, but she's been doing good damage, so 
I'm at least happy about that. And this, again, guys, this was supposed to be, this is not a cost limited one, but I really just wanted to use her bulk up, so I kind of just went for her. Um, that team had, what, two cost 100 and a cost 90, so I'm not really that upset about that. Um, maybe it's time for me to bring in my three cost 100 units. Uh, light unit agility yeah. yeah so basically just agility there so agility is going to be also good for evasion and that's probably part of the reason why there's so much evasion all right so that's going to be it for that thank you guys for watching and i'm hoping to do better in the next one maybe i'll try out light maybe i'll switch back to delita i don't entirely know but I'll see you when that happens. All right. Have a good one, everyone. Peace.